Okay, next is continuing on 14, number 3 is periodic order quantity. Okay, so first step in periodic order quantity is to take Q, so we have to first find the number of periods to combine number of periods is given by Q over D, the demand rate. So, how long would the order quantity, the E O Q quantity. So, we will be converting E O Q into number of periods. So, this Q is E O Q. So, the E O Q from the previous problem, we found E O Q to be 375. So, we take 375 and divide by demand rate and again we found the demand rate to be 187.5 from the previous section. So, that will give us 2 weeks approximately rounded, rounded up actually probably it is going to be exactly 2 weeks anyway. So, what we are going to do is we go, whenever there is a requirement then we will combine 2 weeks worth of quantity. Okay. So, we start with 100. So, we have a requirement here is 250. So, now we add 250 and 200, 2 weeks worth of requirement. So, this will be 450. So, we will order here 450 minus 250 will give you 200. So, no requirement here. And then here there is a requirement. Now we add 150 plus 250 will give you 400. And then 400 minus 150 will give you 250. And then here again where there is a requirement, we add 200 and 200 will get 400. And then that will be 200 there and 0. And since this is the last item, we have to order that last quantity. Okay. So, now we have to find the cost. So, number of setups is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, setup cost is 4 times 300 is 1200. The sum of ending inventories Remember, we have to sum from here, okay, and that will be 200, 250, 200 plus 0 will be 650. So, that is the sum of these. So, carrying cost or holding cost for 8 weeks is 650 times 0.8, so that will give you 520. So, total cost for 8 weeks is that 1200 plus 520 will give you 1720 and that is the least cost lot sizing method. So, lot for lot was 2100, the EOQ is 2400 and PVOQ is 1720.